Hello guys and welcome back to another amazing episode of <gasps> A Timber and Stone. Hey, we are about to see if we can gather resources from a floating wolf. Let's see. Can he do it? Can he do it? Yes, he can. That is good to know. Um, next up, I think we're going to find out if we can gather resources from a floating wolf because we have a whole lot of them. I gather resources, gather resources, let's just gather all their resources. Not that I don't like dead rotting meat floating in my river, but I don't like dead rotting meat floating in my river. So, there's that. Um, today, I think we're going to do something interesting. Uh, not that interesting. I mean, it's something that we've tried before, but we kind of got interrupted by a necromancer, and it was this big dealio and blah blah blah. Not that necromancer, but a more different necromancer. Um, we tried to kill a hundred enemies in a single episode. And you know what, guys? I'm feeling, I'm feeling, uh, fat and happy today. I'm feeling frisky. I think we can actually do it this time around. Uh, we're gonna double time this nonsense. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, go, Justin, go. Go, shoo doo be doo be doop Um, yep, and get you some silk. Let's see if he gets it. Yep, one spider silk. Oh, yeah, let's see how we're doing on resources. Um, I think my tailor went to sleep. What's he trying to do? Uh, I don't think he can gather from the floating wolves. I think he's confused. Well, that's kind of unfortunate, but you know what? It's the price you pay for a safe safe kill. So we're just going to we're just going to get rid of the the floaty wolves. Dispose of corpses. Um, yeah, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to kill a hundred enemies today using um well Justin a little bit uh and no we're not going to count his sheep kills ah you dead um but we're gonna use a little bit of Justin but mostly uh he, he's gonna be mostly for spiders because he's out scavenging he runs across spiders sometimes and um yeah we've got our blacksmith learning how to mine he's all excited all right, gather resources from the dead wolf, and gather resources from the spider. But obviously, he's just going to be out. For the most part, he's just going to be out uh, hunting. And mostly, we're going to use Ellie Wren. So we're going to start at not at dawn because it's dawn now, and she's still sleeping. I guess we'll start whenever she wakes up. Okay, and we will be right back. Alright guys, I think we're going to start ourselves off with a nice little wolf battle. She should spot that wolf in just a second. There we go. Okay, charge this enemy. And play. Yep, that was easy. Okay, and then she'll spot the other one. So that's one of a hundred. And here we go. Charge this enemy. Pacha, that's two of a hundred. Good start. That's three of a hundred. And that is um, Ellie missing an easy shot. Okay, come here, Ellie. You're cute, but you're not doing it right. Okay, hit him. Pachow, four of a hundred. Okay, guys, I think while they're all doing that, we are going to go ahead and design the temple. So we're going to build... First off, we're going to put up some more scaffolding. Put a little piece there, and then just so I don't have to worry about it later, one, two, three. Uh, three, one more. Okay, good. Good. We don't want there. And then maybe one more. One, two, three, four. That looks a little tall, doesn't it? Did I mess that up somehow? Oops. Well, okay. So that one's four. So do we want to go up? We place it and then we go up. One, three, four. And we bring it back in because it's too long. There we go. Okay. So I think what we're going to do for starters is we're going to use, uh, what have we got? These lighter wooden planks to create some windows. One, two, three, and then we're going to go out from this side, and we'll go, oh, one, two, three, and then uh, we want, what happens if we just go like this? One, two, three. And, uh, one, two, three. That leaves this weird little three-wide gap. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go, uh, clicky, shift, C 
could. Is it a shift control? Yep, that's it. And then we'll go here, clicky clicky. We'll do the same thing on this side. Shift control. Whoop. We'll go right here. Clicky clicky. Does that make sense? I do not know anymore. Um, but that. Whoa. Scaffolding goes up fast. Well, cool. Uh, okay, and then we do the same thing on the other side. Um, they're going to be weird little windows, you know, but I don't see any way around that. So, we're using the lighter wood planks. Which wood planks do we have, for starters? Let's see, building. Um, it has two kinds of wood planks. Wood planks and wood planks, too. But when I go into the... Whoop, well, he's placing them, so I guess it's working. Okay, design, and we were doing these wood planks, and we go uh, one, two, three, and then we skip two, and then one, two, three, and then we skip one, and then we one, two, three, and then we skip two, and then we one, two, three. Okay, cool. Now, by way of experiment, I think if we go build and, let's see, we've been using cobblestone for this. I think if we go build... Then we go ahead and just put it on the corner and run it along straight. I think he'll fill in around the wood planks with cobblestone. I think that's how it works. We'll find out soon. Uh, yeah. And so we'll do the same thing on this side. I do cobblestone. Wop. Okay. And then we have to figure out this side. This is an even number, so it could get kind of tricky. Building with the these planks, okay? So if we go one out, one, two, three, and then we'll go one out on this side. One, two, three. Oh, okay, no. Yes, right there. And then can we do one in the middle? Oh, that's going to look weird. We'll do an extra big one in the middle, and we'll pretend that everything's honky-dory. Yes, okay. And then one more time. Wood planks, one out, one, two, three. Oh, that's perfect. I couldn't have done it better myself. One, two, three. Okay, and then we'll fill it all in with... Oh, look, he's doing it. Yes, that works. Okay, good. Okay, we will... I'll just fill that in with cobblestone, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, what I'm trying to do now is kind of set the windows in. One, two, three. And I want them to be tall, elegant windows. So we're just gonna one, two, three. This one might be well we'll just we'll just do three for now. This window's whoop, nope, not oh dang it. Oh oh okay, we oh no, we got it, okay. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Yeah, I want them to be these tall, elegant windows. And so I'm trying to frame them all up, but I think we need to get not Robert but Cole back on blacksmith duty. Oh, our builder went to sleep. Let's get Cole. Cole's our wood chopper, and he's doing a dang fine job. But we need him making planks. So let's see resources. Wood planks. Uh. Yeah, what the heck? We'll add a couple hundred. That eh, that sounds good. We'll let him finish chopping. But when he gets bored, we'll have him. Uh, We'll have him get to work on those planks. And I'm just going to continue putting the windows in, but you don't need to watch that. Hey guys, we are back. I thought, and it might be a little bit early for landscaping, but I thought, you know what would be cool? What if we had some, uh, some decorative plants right around the outside of this here? Oh, we don't want that yet. Ah, uh, ka-chow. Cancel construction. What we want to do... I'm going to do design, build with uh, dirt, and we're just going to fill this area in, make it look very nice, uh -huh. and maybe this area as well, so that it actually has a little bit of a lawn type area around it, good, we can, we can work with that. I just heard something that sounds kind of like, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a spider matriarch, and that makes me a little bit nervous. I don't see a spider... Whoop, I paused. I didn't pause the game. Okay, I don't see a spider matriarch anywhere. But, um, 
I promise, eventually we're going to get back to our killing spree, but the fact is there are no living enemies on the map right now. At least none that I've been able to spot. So just hang tight and we'll get back to our killing spree. But in a minute, we're going to do something kind of adorable and cutesy, like, um, you know, design a temple. Alright, let's see how the shrubberies look. Ooh, that's not bad. It, it's, okay, it's kind of bad. But it's not horrible is the point I'm trying to make. Um, I think it's going to be a very nice looking temple when all is said and done. I dare say it will be. Uh, in the meanwhile, though, uh, just, just hang tight and, and we're going to keep working on it. Whoa, guys! Okay, so just a moment ago, just a moment ago, we got a, uh, a infantryman who wanted to join our, our, uh, colony, is what I'm trying to say. And, um, I let him in, and now we've got Jennifer, that's two in a single night. We're really, we're really doing well now. Um... So we don't really need a stonemason right now, but I can't really figure out what else to do with her, so we'll let her do her thing, I think. Um, boy, two in a night. That's crazy. I wish I'd seen which direction they came from. I wonder if there's something wrong with this path, but I'm not... Don't hold me to that. Guys, you know what? I don't think we're going to manage to kill a hundred... A hundred bad guys today. Um... I'm sorry to get your hopes up again, but uh, I, I just don't think it's going to happen. Not the way things have been going so far. Um, I think I think we're just going to work on the temple today, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, it's nighttime, which is bad for recording, so I'll get back to you. Boy, guys, it never rains, but it pours. Third guy tonight, Kurt, and he's another infantry. He's not nearly as good an infantry as the other one was, but he is an infantry. Uh, so we'll accept him. And, uh, whoop. Okay, we're gonna rename a couple of these guys, because I haven't gotten to it yet. Cool, keep doing your thing. Justin, Sarah, Kurt. There we go. And we're gonna rename this guy. Whoop. We're gonna rename him... Lertz... Kurt. Kurt... C. Oh, yay. Confirm. I think he's actually... Oh, he doesn't have any traits. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch him over to a miner, because that's what we do, because we're mean to people. And then Jennifer is a stonemason, and she can just keep doing what she's doing. She's doing a great job. Oh, I need to get the controls back to the way they're supposed to be. Give me one second here. Here we go. Much better. Okay. Um, I just checked for migrants, and I didn't see any on the trail. But yeah, this, this Skyway is definitely paying off in the manpower department. Or woman power, you know. The the human resources department, we can say. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be back. And we've got another one. He's a hard worker, but he's disloyal and clumsy. And he's another infantry. This is the third infantry that's come knocking. Luckily, he's just going to be a miner anyway. Simon Palmer, huh? Yep, we'll get around to renaming him someday. Now, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I really like either of those configurations, to be completely honest. Okay, what if we were to do this? Deconstruct, confirm... Deconstruct, confirm. I've wa I'm wasting all sorts of things, but hey, we're finally kind of rich. So structures, decor, hedge, there, and hedge, there, and then we'll do a shrubbery kind of right there, and a shrubbery kind of right there. Uh huh. So I've got him digging out some blocks that we are then going to fill with uh, field stone to make kind of a little walkway. Um, but I think our builder has gone to sleep, so that could possibly be an issue. Where's my little infantry that just arrived? Simon. Simon, Simon, Simon. What shall we rename him? Simon. Simon, Simon. We'll name him Crazy Simon. Crazy Simon. 
Okay, confirm, and you need to be a miner. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm. Unless we get another migrant, I'm just. I think we're just gonna try and get everything that I've got in blue and red right here, uh, polished off this episode, and then we'll close the episode out and we'll call it good. So I'm just gonna wait for that to happen, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're making good progress. Uh, the builders are confused, but what else is new? We've got our shrubberies in and our hedges in. We've got the the walkway in. I put a well over here because I thought it would look cool, and it kind of does. And I, I think this place is actually shaping up to look right handsome. So uh, we're going to let them keep working on it, and we will be back. Yep. That's my boy. Let's see. Let's rescue him a little bit. And then, where's Robert when you need him? You need to be a builder for just a moment. Justin, do you really not have anything to do? I guess not. No. How did he manage to find the one spot where I didn't have scaffolding up or anything and he could get himself stuck by doing that? That's pretty incredible. Seriously, they need to do something about the builder's pathing, because this is just ridiculous. Also, I'm pretty sure he can reach up here, so why is he not building? Eh, oh well. Now he's going to get himself stuck. No, where are you going? Here, hold up. No, 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 don't sleep. Oh, forget it. Do whatever you want. We'll be right back. Not even going to bother renaming this one because you can't make up a name like that. Incoming! Alright guys, uh, I think this episode's pretty much done. Uh, I'm just going to impart some quick wisdom. This is the temple as it stands. If you want me to click on the design, I can do that design. Yeah, it's still got some work. Uh, but we're going to call it good as it stands, and I'll figure out the rest. The word of advice is don't give your builders anything even remotely like a complicated instruction because they cannot handle working with more than one material at a time. Um, if you watch them for a second, you'll see that they do this funny little thing where they place like one, maybe two or three blocks, and then they'll uh, decide that they need to be building something else, I guess. And, oh, here we go. Oh, -ha! he finally got rescued. Look at that. And now I've got three builders working on it. Good, good, good. Um, they'll they'll kind of get confused. It's kind of cool to watch it come up like this, though. I'll give them that. But they'll get confused, and they'll keep switching out their inventories, and it's just a mess. So just, just let them work on one material at a time. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I think we're pretty much done for today. Uh, I, I really wanted to kill 100 things, but honestly, I have not seen a hostile mob in quite some time, and I've been waiting for days. So we're just going to call it quits now. Again, thanks for watching. I am the Groovy Noob. Peace, love, butterflies, and unicorns. I am out.